услышишь гром и вспомнишь обо мне. Полоска неба будет твердо алой, а сердце будет, как тогда. A Way Out is a story-driven co-op game. It is designed, played, and experienced only in split-screen co-op, which means you have to play the game with a friend, either online or on your couch. The game starts in a prison. You play as Vincent and Leo. You and a friend will get to know your characters and unfold their story together. You don't together. know anything about me, man. Maybe not, but Harvey killed someone very close to me. With or without you, I'm going after him. Let me show you some of the scenarios in the game. On the right side, you see Liu, who's already in prison. On the left, you see Vincent, who just arrived. Now, if you look to the right again, you can see that Liu can be controlled while Vincent is in a cutscene. Here is another one. Vincent and Leo are now in the laundry room. Your goal is to smuggle sheets using a laundry cart. You can approach the scenario in different ways. Either get the cart with Vincent... No, I got a good pack right here. I think it's got your name on it. It's, uh, broken. I don't know. Or with Leo. Uh, get over here, you idiot! Yeah, but I think those two guys are just about to fight. Uh, what the... What? Who's him? In a way out, you will experience something new all the time. Everything you do in the game is unique for that scene. We want you and your friend to be focused and engaged throughout the entire story. But let me tell you, this is just the beginning of what you will be experiencing in a way out. <laughs> Relax, man, I got this. I know, I know, me again. protects us from what lies beyond. But out there, you either live with the choices you make, or die trying to change them. The story doesn't end here. It's just the beginning.
PS4 for the players. <laughs> So I will say I've played this a couple of times already, so I sort of know what to expect and I hopefully won't crash, but... So where are we exactly? Can you explain where we are yeah, so the, the whole thing, landscape? The first thing you see here is Fortune Valley. This is the, the most, op uh, most diverse uh, open world that we've ever built for Need for Speed. And it's got a massive city called Silver Rock with tons of different districts that you can explore and race in. Plus we've got some mountains for great you know, uh, drifting events and hill climbs. We've got the canyons and a desert. And this is a place called Ember Valley. You look at it, it's sunny, it's hot, it makes you thirsty just looking at it. It's the perfect setting for an action movie heist like the one you're about to do. So one of the things that's already really cool is that I can just drive off-road. You're no longer confined completely to the road. That's right. It's the most open uh, Need for Speed experience we've ever built. So you can uh, find your own path. I mean, we've got you know, checkpoints in this mission to, to lead you straight to that truck. But you know, when you're free roaming, you can go off-road. You can explore this world. It, it, it's massive, and there's tons to explore and tons to find. Cool. So what's going on here? There's the truck. Yeah, That's so what we got to take down. the rendezvous point. You know, the crew, uh, they're meeting here. They're waiting for this truck. It's carrying the $2 million Koenig's egg. It's going to whiz past here, and then Tyler and Jess are going to hop into action here. They're going to hop into their Mustang RTR. Yeah, right. Yeah, classic Need for Speed ride here. All right. So what's the what's the plan? What what are we planning to do? Yeah, so Tyler's going to take the wheels. going to use his uh, street racing skills to carve his way through uh, dense traffic. He's going to deal with some, uh, some AI rivals here that are going to protect the cargo. But most importantly, he's going to drive and catch that truck so that Jess can get into position to hijack this truck in motion. All right, sounds good. Let's get going and catch up to this truck. See what you can do, Nick. All right, so I've got nitrous. There we go. You got nitrous, punch it. You're going to try to catch up to these rivals. We got two dog shelters, all blacked out. They're clearly evil. You got to take, take them, out. them out. Yeah, let's go. The house won't let us anywhere near the truck. So we've got, we got health on top. Oh. Whoa, that was a quick takedown. That was a natural natural. takedown. You are a natural action movie hero, man. Oh, uh, the second whoa. one. Nice <laughs> yeah, so uh, we've, got, we've, got, we've, got, we've got these cameras Let's that present that your truck. biggest, baddest uh, crashes yeah, in the game. Alright, so let's see catch up to the truck. The plan is to catch up to the truck by the tunnel because in the tunnel, any air surveillance are not going to be able to see this hijacking motion. So you got to take, uh, you know, take, take this truck down in the tunnel. So one thing I think we should talk about really quickly is just the way the game feels. Mm -hmm. Could you mention that a bit? Yeah, you know, we pride ourselves on having heroic driving physics that are really pick up and play. So anyone can, can pick up the controller. They, they're hopping on this Mustang. They're going 150 miles an hour, and they feel like a hero right away. So we caught up to the truck and uh, things never go to plan. Yeah, in action movies, yeah, things go sideways. So you know the, the truck driver really doesn't want you to steal that code exit. So he's brake checked you, the doors are flying open, and you're set back. He's just uh, he's booking it right now. He's plowed through uh, all these traffic cars, making life tough tough for you. You gotta navigate your way through the scene and catch up to that truck. He's made an absolute mess of this highway. Alright, so I'm pushing. Alright. You can catch him, man. I'm Get going. Nitrous. I need more nitrous, man. Here we go. All right, here so we, we have some enforcers. So now, you know, talking about the, the AI improvements we made. So a lot of the fans are asking for tougher AI, you know, so that when they catch up to opponents, they're really jostling and battling with them. Every overtake is earned. So these guys have ramped up their, their yeah. attitude to 11, right? So when you shunt them, they're going to fight back. So they're not going to make life easy for you now. Yeah, they hit you pretty hard. 
What's cool is as you, you, you learn the world, you find different things in the environment that you can use against your rivals. So look out for, for telephone poles, guardrails, traffic cars. Oh, there's more there's convenient now. traffic jam for AAUs. There you go. He's gonna try to get the other one right away, gonna bounce off to him. Here we go. Oh, almost. These guys are tougher. Oh, oh, oh. Going down. you see? Pretty nasty. They are tough. These guys. Trying to get them three to go. Come on, Nick. So one of the things that's really cool is, the best way I kind of think now, is to crash into things in the environment, like using those poles. It's a little hard, but Absolutely. it's effective. In any open world game, you're going to find ways that you want to go through this mission yourself. So even if you re replay it over and over again, you're going to find different ways to take out these enforcers each time you play. Trying to deal with them. They're tough, man. I'm trying to use the we poles. Do it. Only two left, Nick. The truck is getting away, man. You want that car. There's no way this truck's getting away. Oh. Whoa! That was a movie moment if I go. ever saw one. All right, let's get rid of this guy. All right. There we go. Again, we play up you know, these action movie moments, right? When, when you have these big, big uh, uh, crashes, we're going to present it to you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait up for this guy so I can crash he's him out. Oh, he's going to come charge at yeah, you. Look out. Oh, no. There we go. There you go. Got him. Just like you planned it, Nick. Yep, 100% on purpose, <laughs> of course. <laughs> All right, now punch it. You got to catch it through the truck. Plan A went sideways, so we're going to go to plan B. We got to catch up to this truck. We got to hijack it before that truck gets to sea limits, because there's some serious heat on you. So you got to uh, get to that truck and get that car exit right, before we go you get into right. the city. Guys, Let's catch him up. So much policing coming. Pushing it's hard. Truck guess. driver's gone to oncoming, making your life difficult. You got to weave through yeah. that oncoming traffic. I'm trying you got to find a gap. There we go. Gotta hit there's that my pocket. gap. Line it up for Jess. Come on. There we go. Here's Jess's big, big moment. <laughs> With three drivable characters, we have in our action missions of these dynamic vehicle switches. So you were playing as Tyler Street Racer. Now you're gonna jump into the Koenigsegg and you're gonna drive as Jess. Switching characters, I like it. And there Boom. you go. You got it. You've done this before. You've stolen a two million dollar car before, right? A couple right? of times. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So now, now you, you get gotta to get feel that sense of speed in this uh, awesome hypercar. This thing's fast. Now you've generated some heat in this mission. So look out here. You've got epic golf cases. And when you play the, the highway heist, when uh, payback comes out November 10th, you're going to have to use Jess to take out cops. Avoid rhinos, avoid spikes, drifts, roadblocks, all the intense uh, cop chase action that you expect from Need for Speed. Cool. So what else can you tell me about the story really briefly? Mm -hmm. So we, we've structured the game such that you're playing as these three characters, they all have their own quest lines, and it all comes together, them getting revenge against the house. Cool. Koenig Zegregera. Zero to 60 in 2.7 seconds. We intercept, then grab the cargo. It'll be part of a convoy. What are you thinking? Quick hit and run. Get me close to the truck and I'll take care of the rest. Get me close to that truck before it hits the tunnel. The house won't let us anywhere near the truck. We have gotta take out those cars. Get rid of these guys. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get that truck. out of his mind. There's something much bigger going on here. What's the play? Forget the tunnel. We get him before he reaches the city. Guys, more house cars headed your way. Ah! 
freaking tanks is what they are. They're going down either way. super exciting and we got a chance to play yesterday and it's just really fun to sort of get into this environment you know it's something that we've seen in the movies but we're actually in the gameplay and with somebody here who has actually worked on the game so let's talk more about what we're seeing here and getting into this because there's three phases to this so currently we're in phase one that's right and also we have some great game changers you saw one of them pop up in just a little while it was uh vf updates pool shark uh moose elk we also have my boy darkness aka dankness he will be playing uh, as well. We have uh, Wesley, Master G, Star Wars HQ, and some NBA Live, just cuz, why not? You know, just do your thing. But anyway, here you go. So, Star Wars Battlefront 2, folks. Now this is awesome because essentially phase one, you get to escort an MPT down the, the street of the here, and the pressure is on for the clones. They have to hold back the assault here, Paul. They do, uh, definitely. The, the, the droids are, are sitting there trying to Escort that MTT up the main pathway. If they're if they're successful, we go, we go on to that phase two. But right now, what we're seeing nice some shot. some specialist gameplay from I think Battlefront updates. Yeah, let's actually talk about the specialists. And also, you, you're going to see a couple different classes here. This class in particular that Massive G is using is the heavy class specialist, kind of your sniper, right? But exactly. the heavy class, what do they do here? So the heavy class is great. They got a bit more health than your average trooper. They're also able to pop that combat shield, try to push into areas. So you can see those guys as pushers or defenders in some areas. But it looks like we got one of our vulture droids right now. Not sure who's flying this guy, but these guys are great at air to air, trying to take out those other ships that might be coming in, that Naboo N1 Starfighter. Otherwise, right. they're there to provide some great ground support like we're seeing here, trying to get some strafing runs in on those drones. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> Come on, man. You, Missed that tower. You just, you just did it wrong there, buddy. So it's Sorry great about we, that. We also do have the air support, but we also have ground support as well. We do. We do. Uh, so another thing that those air vehicles are great at is trying to take out some of the, the ground vehicles that you may see. The, the droid army has the AAT tank, something that's really great at troop suppression. Uh, but we see here a little clip of the V-Wing doing that. Oh, man, he's just mowing some, some droids down there. Yeah, it's just absolutely shredding. You're going to see this happen quite a bit, especially in this phase, because there's a lot of open field here, right? And you can just come through for some great straight, uh, great bombing runs, really, and eliminate as many people as you possibly can. And also, you put the presence of an air vehicle out there. Players will fear the skies, and they will, you know, look for cover in this map, where it's already difficult to find cover to begin with in this phase in particular. Absolutely. And you can see right now that there is an AAT tank sitting around on the battlefield. He is probably taking out those clone troopers, but this this droid, this vulture droid, is really stepping it up. What I love about this is everyone's like, oh, look at this great open map. And then when you start phase two, it's like everything starts coming in and coming way closer together. And we were Absolutely. talking a little bit more about the assault class. So for somebody who has just started playing this, never played any previous versions, do you feel like the Assault class might be something perfect for them to pick up? I think the start? Assault class is, is, yes, absolutely. It's something that oh, is, ooh, ooh. that's painful. Uh, the Assault that's class is hurt. something that uh, a lot of players will be able to jump right into. They're, they're your frontline flanker attacker. I think they're, they're going to be fairly easy. You can get right in and just start having you know, your typical run and gun action. Their, their signature ability, uh, you, you see here at the top of the screen, your number two ability, that switches you over to a shotgun. You get a little bit faster, and you're able to really get in there and kind of, you know, break those, break through those front lines. Oh, I love it. I love using the shotgun, man. It is so good. And it's actually, when I first used it, it really caught me off guard. I wasn't expecting it. And I said, wait a minute. I could destroy people with this. So I just charged into the room and, and just absolutely shredded everyone. It was so fun uh, to play with here. We've also seen some great uh -oh, dog, some dog fighting, fighting here. 
between <laughs> the clones and the separatists. This is certainly uh, what a lot of folks love in Star Wars and just really in any game that DICE makes, right? They just always do a good job with the air combat. He's really trying to track him down. This, this vulture is not really having much luck. No, yeah, that vulture cannot one. shake him. Well, so we got Star Wars HQ here. You know, he's playing he's playing the assault class again, and you saw him he has the signature thermal detonator uh, that he he'll be able to kind of suppress some of those guys with as he rushes in. And there are different different weapons as well. Like one of the guns that uh, I would oftentimes use was the semi-automatic uh, gun. It you know fired a lot slower, but you can get some great shots with it. And then there's also this nice compact uh, SMG style. Uh, you know, yep. blaster that really shreds through people in close range. I was, you know, using a little... I mean, we want to give you a little bit more weapon too. variety this time around, you know? <laughs> yeah. Also, some AAT tank action here, and this is that doing what it does best. He's suppressing that point, trying to keep those clones out of the way. And they're trying to make their way forward uh, as the objective oh, continues ooh. to march down. He has to get away from that. He's trying to... I don't know, is he trying to flank the tank? That's not smart. I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe he will. Maybe oh, you saw a little combat roll there. Got to give you some escape options in case you get into some, some hairy action. Uh-oh, we didn't get to see this one before. Finally, oh, tell we us haven't. about some ATRTs. Yes, so these are, these are great for taking out those AATs. So these guys are a little quick. They have an ion charge ability. They'll, that way they'll be able to do a little bit more extra damage against the tank should they see it. So you can imagine like three or four of these on the battlefield really rushing around points. Like, look at this. He's just can you stop someone through. out? What can what can you do with this? Can, you, can, like, you can run someone over if you want. Can, oh, I was actually gonna say, could I get shot off of it <laughs> if I'm on top of it because my body's exposed? Yeah, yeah, like, yes, yeah, yeah. That was that question was answered, you know, instantly. Almost right? immediately. Yeah, almost immediately. Oh man. So, uh, Mr. Musel here. You know, look for this guy to be on a tear a little bit later as well. And also, I did want to highlight, we had an officer, as a matter of fact, right in front of Star Wars We did, HQ one of my there. favorite classes. W what is it about the officer that makes it so unique? I mean, my, my Twitch skills aren't where they used to be. I'm Fair. a bit slower nowadays. Uh, but I'm, I'm able to, to really buff up my class, or buff up my teammates. Try to let them get some extra health. Let them push through the points faster. And oh. ooh. What happened there? Finally, finally some good dogfighting going in there. Okay, so all right. What's, what's and one starfighter. What's great about some of these starfighters is these are accessed through our new battle point system. So instead of finding a pickup token on the on the map like we used to in the last game, uh, you're now able to, depending on how well you do, whether you're scoring points via kills, via uh, team play assists, or you're playing the objective like we really want players to do, you're earning points continuously that will allow you to spend those on, whether it be a special character, whether it be a vehicle, or even a hero. So and the battle points, that, that allows you yeah. to unlock all of those things. All those things, definitely. And I also mean, something to look out for, too, when we get into phase two, that's when battle points are really going to play a role there, right? I mean, I right, right now, definitely, you see a lot more. It's an open space. You have time for this air combat and some vehicle gameplay. But once we get inside, it's going to be a different story. That's right. Things are uh, definitely going to heat up. And what is this happening, right? This is a uh, lock-on just trying on. to shake him out. Yep. Yeah, nice. they better enjoy their uh, air combat here, because that's not going to be happening for much longer. Oh, Master much G longer, is just <laughs> destroying him. Oh, 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 he got picked off. Nice job. He was, I mean, he's doing what he needed to do, support his team, right? It's that yeah. combined arms fire. You want to make sure that somebody's trying to cover you from the air. Oh, boy. So, and you can see after every respawn as well, you get those uh, How many points you're earning. Right. That's so you right. Can use those later on. Got some uh, specialist gameplay here as well. Maybe you can take off a couple faces, perhaps. That and so in the specialist good. class, you can also deploy different types of traps as yeah, well. Yeah, absolutely. So they have access to a trip mine. So if you want to sit there and you want to be you know, that true sniper character, you set up some trip mines behind yourself, make sure nobody can flank you. But really, you're there to provide some of that cover fire for your troops downrange. And it's especially potent in this area because it is such a big open area. So that special to really shine in, in phase one. Some more uh, bombing runs here and just absolutely tearing them up. I have to say, man, Musok is killing it. Killing it in this world. Again, right. again, just doing great. Oh, and we see there uh, one of the officer classes right next to one of the clones. Officer, fantastic for pushing, right? You want to be able to push the objective. Definitely. Support your team. Like, if you are playing with your buddies, you want to be able to have at least one officer available because he keeps you going in the fight. At least. I mean, they really help push, you know, when those heavies are trying to drive towards a point, you got your officers behind you, giving you some extra health, making sure that you're not, you're still able to complete that push. Or on the opposite side, if you're one of the droids, you really need to lock down a point. The officers have access to a turret that they can place on the ground and, you know, give a little bit more fire support for that area. I'm trying to see if Massive G here is, uh, you know, he's really focused on the bombing runs, right? He's not trying to go into combat with Musa, who's up there. There's uh, Darkness 429. Just shredding everyone up here. Maybe uh, he oh, can get a couple he just kills. Wanted to, he just went into this siege is... mode. 
yeah, this is happening. Oh, Me yeah, so tell, tell us about the Siege Mode. Sure, what, so how does this play out? In Siege Mode, uh, you, for a limited time, you're able to just blow up just some huge area effect shots. You lock down your position, but you're able to have a lot more firepower. We also just saw the B2 Super Battle Droid there as well. That's something you can get Another with one battle of my points favorites. as well. Another one of my favorites. Uh, yeah, you can grab those guys via the battle point system. Those guys, great at push points again. Where they have high health, a lot of rapid fire. Oh! Here we go. Oh, there it is. And this big explosion indicates phase one is over. Now we start phase two. And this is when the action really begins to pick up here because it gets really tight inside of that building and players need to be mindful of that. And look for this B2 to just shred through everyone, especially with that cooling ability that he has to be able to keep him just constantly shooting in the fight. He's gonna, he's gonna make a huge difference here as the fight moves inside. I mean, there's gonna be narrow pathways. He's gonna be able to just shred as soon as anybody gets in his way because it's those, nor those narrow corridors, it's gonna be trouble. And just waiting for the prime opportunity to push up here. Players falling, got, you know, white boy there. Oh, and there, oh, oh here we go. This is some Darth Maul yes. action. Here we go, folks. This Darth Maul. This is where Maul. it starts to get interesting. This is, gets scary. Darth Maul will excel in phase two and phase three as you're inside. I mean, he's a great mobile attacker. He's going to sit there with his lightsaber. Especially because such close quarters, too. So oh, he's exactly. absolutely perfect for that. Absolutely. I mean, some of his abilities you can see here, he's got that spin attack. He's able to whoo, just rush in and out of combat and just take guys out in the, in the process. It was funny, I was talking to Musa earlier, and he was using Darth Maul, and he was saying how, there's Boba Fett as well, uh, but he was talking about how he wishes Darth Maul could reflect. I was like, if he could reflect, he'd be too strong. <laughs> he'd be way too strong. Uh, oh, there goes Boba Fett. Flank. That was a good flank by Boba Fett and Maul. Just shredded the Cologne army, unfortunately. They so are. what role does Boba Fett fill in this battle? Boba Fett is definitely a hunter-killer. So if, if the other, if the Cologne army is able to get some of their heroes in play, like this is where Boba Fett will really shine. Is with that jetpack of his, he's able to kind of float above the battlefield, uh, fire off some rockets, and really just take out an individual target. And so what difference does he have from the last game? Uh, from the last game, we've given him a bit of new tricks. Uh, he's got a new concussion rocket that will really disorient players completely. But he also has this rocket barrage. Instead of just one rocket, he's able to really just lay down some suppressive fire. Nice. Also, one thing to keep in mind, we saw the B2, here we go, but on the uh, clone side, you know, there are specialist, uh, you know, characters that you can pick up as well. We haven't seen much of it yet, but that would be uh, the clone jump trooper. That's right. Very that's different right. from the standard like assault class or heavy class. It has the jump jets that you love from Battlefront, the original. That's right. Uh, brought back here, but now focused on the central class. Exactly. Yeah, we're back to Boba Fett here with the Ooh, look at rocket that. jumps there. <laughs> He's shredding. Terrible. Able to just lay down so much firepower. It's intense. Oh, oh they got him though. Down. Jesse was able to find him on that one. Yep. But here comes some officer gameplay here. Oh, good. Finally, somebody played some support. Support people matter too. They you do. Know? They you got to give them some love. We're the linchpin of the team, you know? Yeah, exactly. Now, what is his two exactly? His two is the healing ability. His two ability is that, yeah, exactly. It's that healing ability. It gives you a little bit of buff uh, for your little over health, but it also heals you back up. So it's, oh, here we got some of the, the jump troopers. Oh boy, and here we go. It's uh, getting it ready for phase three in just a little bit. There's a jump trooper. We talked about him before. Jump trooper, super fun to play. Uh, but again, you know, it's attached to a specialist now, uh, so not everyone's going to have it equipped, although it was really fun in the original battle. That's right. But yeah. I am going to be excited to hop into jump trooper and shred people myself. I mean, I know people, we love this, people, a lot of people love the jump pad. Oh, oh now we've got Ray. Oh. Not going to lie, I'm super excited to play as her. Uh, she's she's a, quite a powerful character. Don't run. Some of her got, abilities. Uh, you know, she got out of that one really, Don't really run. quickly. But, oh, 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 they got oh, her. Man. The droid. Fallen by a Finish simple droid. Off. No, but Ray so has, how does her Ray has mind trick yeah. affect enemies? Absolutely. So Ray's mind trick is, is something that against uh, all enemies, they'll be confused for a little bit. Your controls will kind of you know work against you, making you a little bit more vulnerable to attack. Just so you guys know, this is when it gets insane. <laughs> because they there's so much going on here. And oh, was Ooh. that was that a little Han? We saw a little Han, yeah. Are we gonna get some Han? I hope so. I hope so. But I mean, you, you saw it earlier. So every time uh, you finish a life, we'll show you how many battle points you have. And some people have enough points to get those reinforcements. And especially this late in the game, you'll see a lot more of these special classes coming out, a lot more of the heroes coming out. So again, this jump trooper here, you know, with his rocket launcher and his jump pack, trying to be mobile, trying to fly into that, that last zone and, and capture a point. This is really where heavies are, are going to thrive as well because there they, it is. It, my goodness, you just see them laying down fire through the doorway. Just absolutely dominating the clones. They need to push out. They, they need to there. fight this one out here. There are so many lives left that the Separatists have 
to their team, they could really run through this. The clones have to start acting fast because if they cap it, that will be it. The Separatists will win this game. It's not looking so good for my boys in the clone army. I'm a Separatist fan, so I'm excited. I'm just going to go on whichever team wins. Oh, okay. So okay. I'm not going to be too picky here. Okay, you <laughs> jump and ship. I understand that. You know, no loyalties. Maybe you are Sith after all. Ooh. Maybe I am. Oh, who knows? Shots fired. Shots fired. Uh, oh, yeah, so in, the, in this third phase, though, in the, the, the droids are trying to capture that throne room. So you can see here, if you remember, it's just, this, is the main, this is the main throne. And this uh, is such super close quarters. Do you have any, like, sort of strategies that you would... Uh, Absolutely. I mean, if, you're the, if you're the clones, oh, you're hoping oh. that. Oh, jeez. Han Solo was just this getting is, torn up. This is gonna be trouble. <laughs> it's like too soon, man. I can't relive <laughs> Force Awakens again. You know, like don't do it. Darth Maul is just destroying absolutely everything. everything. I mean, is there any tips to like taking him down? I mean, you want to have a try to combine arms fire. Oh. oh. The tip is blasters. Run away. Maybe <laughs> run away. Run away and just shoot the crap out of Darth Maul. Oh, oh man. He was our MVP. Look at that. Nice yeah. stuff. Moose out. Congratulations.